ladies do not forget your hair scarves hi beauties welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys what i had in my hospital bag hi beauties welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to be telling you guys or pretty much showing you guys what you need in your hospital bag versus what you probably don't need so let me tell you guys how I'm going to break this down. I actually recorded this entire video while I was in the hospital, the duration of the time I was in the hospital, just so I can show you guys exactly what you need to bring, especially since we're going through a global pandemic right now. So if you want to see exactly what you need in your hospital bag, keep watching. Before we go further, I do want to say, yes, the baby is here. And I do want you guys to look forward to some kind of labor and delivery video. I'm going to do some kind of video. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it but I am going to do one so just keep on the lookout for that well without further ado let's jump right into this video so since we are going through a global pandemic my husband since he does work in the medical field he always tells me about like when you go to hospitals and stuff like that, you really don't want to bring, I guess, germs back into your home. So the first thing he did was put everything we have in a plastic bag. Let me show you guys what that is. Well, first here is the bag that we took to the hospital. This is my hospital bag. And believe it or not, him and I actually both shared one bag. So that just tells you right there, you really don't need that much stuff. We barely used any of this stuff, to be honest, but this is still stuff that I would say that you do need. Yes, everyone's case is different depending on, you know, um, what really goes on with your birth. But outside of that, these are some things that you do want to bring. Okay, we're going to go through them. The first thing you need, of course, is for a shower, and that's your little sponge. My husband has his too, but his is blue and he took it out of here. <laughs> And then, um, ladies, I don't know how dry your scalp gets, but you do want to have some kind of grease depending on how your scalp treats you. Because the air is kind of dry at the hospital. <laughs> um, then you have this small little baby toothpaste. We have some lotion. We have the cutest little baby deodorant. We have some body wash, and then my husband has his. His is the blue one, and we both kind of use that one. <laughs> and then um, my husband's beard oil. I don't know if this was a necessity, but I guess he used it. And then last but not least, you have your toothbrushes. And um, I like these toothbrushes that my husband got because, as you can see, they... Um, they close by themselves so germs won't get in them. Oh, my nails, you guys. Let me see if I can open this. Ugh. How did I do this? What in the world? Guys, for some reason I can't open this and I don't want to break my nails. Okay, well. <laughs> sorry, guys. But yeah, it's these toothbrushes. You guys probably already know how to open it, but yeah. That's it. So these are actually the items that I would say are a necessity because you do need to, you know, take care of yourself. And the nurses there will tell you, um, will give you better instructions on how to and when to take care of yourself, depending on whether you have a natural birth versus a C-section. The next item I will say is more for comfort. And that is your robe. You have your robe. For me, I brought this robe right here. My comfy little gray robe. Let me get comfy for you guys. I have my little gray robe going on. <laughs> but let me be honest, you guys, I never wore this robe. <laughs> so it's funny how I'm putting it on now, but I never wore this robe at the hospital. So you can either wear your gown like I did, or you can wear a robe. For me, I decided to not wear my robe because I was like super hot after I had my baby and I could barely even keep on the gown they gave me. Um, I noticed they kept on coming back to tie it for me. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to wear clothes. I was just feeling like, 
I was hot. Like, I just wanted to be free after I had my baby. But I managed to cover up a little bit, guys. I managed to cover up. So it's up to you whether you want to bring your robe or not. I'll leave that into your discretion. The next thing you are going to need is a towel. And that's just for your shower, of course. Let me take this robe off now, guys, because I'm actually getting hot again. Okay. And then, um, like I said, I had on the gown that they give you at the hospital for the duration of time I was in the hospital. And I ended up just bringing one outfit because I, I know me and I know it's either going to be my robe or just the hospital gown. So the next item I would say after the towel is just one outfit. I think you don't need more than one outfit. If you want to, I guess you can bring a couple outfits or an outfit per day or however you're going, however long you're going to be there. But um, I would advise as least outfits as possible because you don't really need it. Um, you have your hospital gown. If you bring a robe, you have your robe and then you have whatever it is you're going to wear to leave the hospital. So for me, I just brought a dress. I brought a flowy pink dress. Let me make this right for you guys. I brought a flowy pink dress. So this is what I wore out of the hospital. And it worked for me. I didn't want nothing that was going to be too tight on me. Some people like things that are tight on them after they give birth. But this time I said, let me be free. <laughs> so I just brought a pink flowy dress and it worked perfectly for me. When it came to socks, he told me not to buy any socks and not to bring any like of my nice fancy flip flops and stuff. Um, because he said just use what they give you at the hospital so that you can dispose of them afterwards. So with the socks, I wore the hospital socks. I didn't bring any shoes, just like he said. And the um, socks that they gave me at the hospital, it did suffice. And I actually ended up leaving in the hospital socks as well because I couldn't fit my shoes. So it worked perfectly. Another thing we need to discuss is underwear, undergarments, what to bring and what to not bring. Honestly, you don't have to bring anything. Everything you guys need is already at the hospital. They have the pads you'll need. These pads. If you haven't seen them before, they're really big and this is what they look like. <laughs> so they have the underwear that you need. Yes, the mesh drawers. They have the stuff you're going to need to clean down there. They have everything you need. I do hear that some women like to bring Depends. And that's one of those things that's up to you. If you want to wear Depends and bring, you know, any kind of thing that you feel like you need for underneath there, bring what makes you feel comfortable. But at the same time, they do have everything you need to take care of your lady parts. The next thing I wanted to talk about is entertainment. Everyone has their different thing that entertains them. So I would say you just bring what's best for you. And of course, back to the duration of time that you're going to be there. But keep in mind, with everything you're bringing, you don't want to bring things that can possibly get contaminated, if that makes sense. You don't want to have too much stuff, whereas germs and stuff is touching everything. You're bringing it back home. So like I said, please, please, please keep that in mind. Um entertainment for me i use my cell phone for all forms of entertainment if i need you know extreme forms of entertainment they already have a tv there there's a remote so you can change the tv believe it or not i never even touched the tv while i was there um but what i did bring for myself was my bible my journal and my agenda book those are the things that I brought as far as entertainment and those are the things that I ended up using while I was there anyway. Um, so it was perfect for me. I had everything I needed. So just know what you going to what you need for your form of entertainment and try to make it as small as possible. Like if you can use your cell phone instead of bringing your iPad, if you can watch the TV there instead of bringing another form of TV, <laughs> you know, just try your best to minimalize everything you're bringing okay um last but not least when it comes to your child you have to bring some stuff for your child um unfortunately 
they're not going to be taking pictures during this time. You know, normally when you come in to have a baby, they have pictures of your baby. And what I normally do is I bring a whole bunch of extra stuff because I like our pictures to be, you know, <laughs> extra. So I bring extra stuff. Um, this time around, I'm not going to lie, I did bring three outfits. But um, you do not need three outfits at all. You do not need three outfits at all. Although we brought three outfits, she only wore one and that's the one outfit that they put the child in, well, that you put the child in to leave the hospital. Um, while your child is in the hospital, of course, she is going, she or he is going to be wearing the um, swaddle that they give them. And that just helps the doctors to do the tests they need to do throughout the time they're with your child. And, you know, just do whatever they need to do. So your child literally is in a swaddle until you're leaving the hospital. Oh, and please, moms and dads, let's not forget this car seat covers. We were advised to buy this for the baby um, before we left just to ensure that the baby is covered. And um, we were told this was because you don't want to put a mask on babies. So you do want to make sure that the baby is covered to some degree. I hope this video have given you guys insight as to what you probably should bring versus what you probably should not bring to the hospital. Ladies, I'm rooting for you guys. Mamas, go ahead and push these babies out. Thanks so much for watching again. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. And don't forget, if you live to love, you would love to live. Bye, guys. Yeah, and with it being your third baby, you're going to have more soreness as you